Hello everybody, welcome to Brother Love in Haiti, and today I had the opportunity and privilege to speak to the mayor of St. Louis de Seine. Now this is a southwestern part of Haiti that was devastated by the 7.2 earthquake. I want you to know this is one of the most powerful and impactful interviews that I ever had, but unfortunately my recording device has been giving me some problems and it recorded in slow motions, so the sound was missing in a lot of it. So here I am putting my editing skills to work and bringing you this powerful and impactful interview so you can see the leaders in our communities that's really impacting change. Please press that like button, share, and subscribe. Let's make this go viral, y'all. Home has been broken. 
They looking for somewhere for refuge. And you stand before them amongst them. As the mayor. In this truck is enough. No. But it's just to show a form of brotherhood, or I'm looking for the word solid, solitary, solidary. Yeah. So to let you know that I'm with you, because I believe in your mission. I see you are somebody that really loves your country. Because you could be anywhere. Yeah, of course. But you choose to be here. Give me that speech. It's just natural. You know, I held it, but it, it came, so it had my that impact. My heart is talking to you. Yes. My you... soul is talking to you. My inside is talking to you. The cry inside me, is that me, is that my voice? I, I'm privileged to be the one who telling you. But everything I say is the soul, is the heart of many people. It's the heart, it's the cry of thousands and millions of nations all over the world. This is the cry of the diaspora himself, who cried to come back home, who cried to make home something different, who cried to make home a change. We need to do something to remember so, the world that the Haitian we are. Yes. Great fighter, yes. great liberty. We, we, we used to be an example. I remember in the 70s when the Haitian traveled to some places in the world, there's two types of Haitian, a hard, honest worker man or a high, intelli honest intellectual. Ooh. I say honest on both sides. They never see us as a gangster, they never see us as like bad people, which we will not, we will not. They misunderstand us. We great people. Yes, we, we fight are. in many, in many wars in the world. We fight in Savannah for the American liberation. Yes, we fight in Cuba. Uh -huh. Haitian died in Angola. Haitian died in Vietnam. Uh -huh. We are Haitian going for a war. You still have Haitian dying. Our blood is spilled all over the world because we stand for freedom, equity, and liberation of humankind. That's Haitian. That's right. And I want the world to know that to listen to it. We need to be respected. We don't ask for charity. We ask for understanding. We ask to let us grow. Let us be. Mm. Leave us be. We want to be great as we are. Let us be. That's what we need. The Haitian. Mm. Um. Energy in you. This is what I tell all my big, all my mentors, my the ones that's older than me, the one I take advice from. They might say, Yo, I see a lot of my traits in you. And then automatically I can see a lot of my traits in them. And it's about the transparency, it's about being passionate, it's about could be anywhere in the world what you choose to be in your country. And then I also heard you have school in this area of free yes. of charge. Free of charge. But you and your children, you the meal that you do. Huh? The meal that you do. Woo! Y'all hear that, my brothers? God is good. The energy is connecting us. 300 children free of charge in the mill every day. Well, I know this is our first time meeting. I just want to tell you, I have a school too. Yeah. 75 children yeah. in the mill every day free of charge. You know why? I'm telling you one thing. People ask me, why are you like this? I say, the main I am right now is the testimony of everything I've ever had. My mother couldn't pay for school for me, school fees. So I've been in school. I feed people because I was starving most of my young life. I give love to people. I grew up without a father. A mother who struggles all the time, a single mother. So every kid is mine. Every kid, I'm their own father because I grew up without a father. I grew up without a person to take care of me. Every youth, I'm their own uncle, I'm their own father. I'm the, when, you, when I see myself, this is the reflection of who I am. This is the reflection of what, what I was through. You see, I'm passionate. Whoa! I tell you, my brother, I'm not passionate. I'm determined. Woo! Because when you're passionate, your eyes are closed, you're blind. When you walk, your eyes closed, you hit the wall. You drop, you're scared. When you determine it, you walk eyes open, walking eyes open, you see the wall, and you break it. Let's go. I have 3D, example, for a destiny, I have determination, and the third D, destroy everything who, who, who keep away, who keep away to go to your, to your destination. Right. The people say I'm barefoot, yeah. I'm with nothing like this here. I talk to people, but there's one thing they have to know. As Norwegian say, it's not about the package, it's about the content. Don't look at the package. It's barefoot. Dirty sometimes. Sweaty. But the content is full. Cool. The content is about what you do. Say that like three days, you don't see. Are you tired? I said, no. My body cannot be tired because my mind doesn't does allow me. My mind doesn't allow my body to be tired. My body cannot be tired because the mind, the brain, is the one tells the body how to behave. It's my mind is not tired. In my, my brain say, shut up. 
Mm. You have to wake up and work again, you wake up again. I had no voice, but you talk to me, my soul say, voice, I don't care. You have to speak, because I need to speak. That's the way it is. Let your soul take over. Let your soul, your destiny, your dream, your goal take over you, and you will be shining through the world. I feel like I'm getting a blessing right here. And I want everybody to know, we just woke up, it's early morning, and we just having a real conversation with the maid. The maid ain't even shower yet, he's just waking up, he about to go take a shower, then the cameraman just popped up, and it's just natural energy. This is nothing that's been scripted, nothing that's been written. It's two souls coming together, and we support one another, and I, I, I love to see this for my country. We represent so much of a bright spot for my country, because I've been looking for this in my country. I, I've been looking for it so much that I try to be that in my country. You know, just but on a social aspect, try to find a way to see our problems, but find solutions. You know, like if I see too much trash in the streets, I'm not gonna say, man, there's too much trash on the streets. I'm gonna say there's too much trash in the streets, but how do I get that trash off the streets and create something? Let me tell you one thing. People, guys around 200 people want to start to put trash on the floor. You know how I tell that? First, I put a garbage skin there, and every time I walk, the mayor, I just pick a trash and put them. Mm. Now everybody do the same thing. Mm. You lead by example. You should lead by example. Don't tell people what to do. Be the example. And they will follow you. My brother now, I would have to take a shower now. <laughs> Only on Brother Love and Haiti where y'all get it real and uncut, man. We gonna put some information up there. Support him. His inst I don't know if he got Instagram because he's a professional, but support him. Y'all see his energy? Support him. This is the real people that we need for a better tomorrow. Support him. Real deal. Thank you, my Maybe friend. I would have enough money to buy a cinder one day. <laughs> you know my dream? I would have to keep the barefoot thing. Yes. I hope one day I go to the White House. We shoot tie nice and I go barefoot. <laughs> That's my trademark now. Yeah. The barefoot guy. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. appreciate your time. Thank you, y'all. Sing Weed the Seed. I keep messing up the name. Yeah, it's it, 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 it. Oh, Sing Weed the Seed. I said yeah. it right. Yeah, I said it right, yeah. Yeah, man. Y'all know my Creole account. I'm Lou. Thank you, my Thank brother. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Desmond Tutu. Man, Nelson Mandela, Nobel Peace Prize, when everything he experienced come within, come out of his words, you know, and that's powerful, what chills to me, just like he spoke of the dude that was this high, but um, when he spoke, it just, you could hear it and you could feel it. Well, when he spoke, I could feel it, man, and yo, know, to see he's on, the mission to do right by the country, man, it's so, it, it, it's so amazing to me, man, because people don't think that exists. And here we are on Brother Love in Haiti, showing it to y'all that exists, man. And he's so down to earth, so down to earth. The, everything is opened up for the people. Everybody got it. Okay.